All right, Patch, so here is your um, your baseline video. This was day one of the program, so it's a video that, uh, you know, where we all started from, and uh, it'll be fun to compare it to later ones in the year and uh, see where you end up. So we'll watch it in regular motion, then slow it down. Patch, look at me. All the way down yeah. to the trail. All the way down. Go ahead. Slalom turns. Like your brother, you uh, you make some decent turns. Yeah, task was slalom turns. This is maybe a little bit you know in between slalom and GS, but that's okay. But you got a nice body position. We're fairly leveled. You seem to be a nice balance. Hands a little bit wide and out in front, which is good. Um, this is more like GS. You're using your you know poles a little bit. A little pole swing. A little pole touch. A little pole tap, which is good. Um, we don't really, um, we need to keep, we need to have a more consistent width of our feet. So here you come through, nice shoulder width, that, that's pretty good right there. Um, but on the right footers, which are going to be turns to the left, but we call this a right footer because our dominant foot, the right foot right there is outside where the pressure is. So on, on all the right footers, you really widen it out. Your stance gets wide, and that makes it difficult for to, to do a couple things. One, to uh, keep all the weight on the outside ski, um, get both feet off from underneath you. Um, you know, maybe use your ankles a little bit more. And uh, certainly in, in slalom, if it's um, you know wide, it's going to be really hard to get you know good good edge changes. So we need to, we need to narrow the stance on your right footers or turns to the left. So we need to have it consistent. That's a pretty good stance right there. You know, kind of shoulder width, you roll them up, stand on them, pressure the outside, skis come around. You come to the transition, all of a sudden it starts getting wider, and it's much wider over here. So you can't, when it's under you, we're not able to get uh, the same matching edge angle. It's a little flatter, as you can see. So, we want to try that. Consistent width, narrowing on right footers to more like what's going on your left footers. Um, number two, we're going to need a little more ankle flexion. So, here you are, we're in the middle of the turn, and you know, that shin is pretty much going straight up and down. And, you know, we want to see it a little more like that. What was our slogan we were talking? Knees to the skis. So we want to try to bring those knees to the skis, creating that ankle flexion or bending of the ankle. Um, another thing, um, you're not, you know, your brother has a little more excessive, but um, you're, you're just a, a little bit hunched over. We want to have a matching angle. If, if we'd ideally like to have our shin have been like this, and the upper body to, to kind of match it. You're close, but you're a little bit more. I think you're a little more. Um, you're a little more like, whoops, a little more like that. So maybe we're just going to stand up a little bit taller. It allows us to get our feet up underneath us. Just a little bit hunched over. Right here, that, that's a pretty good turn. Came in, rolled them both up. Fairly similar. The inside one is, is darn close. Not quite. Make sure we roll up both identically. 
We just stood on it, came through here, and all of a sudden it got really wide. All right, Patch, let's, let's work on that. Let's work on trying to narrow the stance in the right footers, turns to the left, maintaining a consistent uh, width of the feet throughout all turns. And get some more knees to the skis, really getting in the front of the boot. Maybe just standing up a tad taller in the upper body. But good job, and looking forward to the season.